Brooklyn, why are we still waiting? My appointment is over. What's the hurry? Better question. What's the point of sticking around? <sighs> that right there. You are gonna go follow him, go. Wait, why am I following him? And what do I do if he sees me? You say something nice. Oh, I know, ask him for coffee. What? Are, are you trying to set me up with Austin? Uh, you, you know, when you offered to come with me to my postpartum appointment, I thought, wow, she's really being a good friend. But no, as usual, you have an ulterior motive. Of course I do. I am a quarter mean. Okay, and this was a doctor's appointment, not exactly a night out on the town. Okay, fair point. Thank you. And now that we know that you have a clean bill of health, you have to go and spend some time with Austin. No, I don't. I don't understand what the problem is, Max. Yes, you do. Okay, he delivered your baby. He was in the woods with us that night when you gave me your daughter to protect her from Peter. Which is exactly what we don't want Austin to remember, so stop pushing me in Austin's direction. He might be a good distraction for you. You know, he could lift your spirits a little bit. Okay, my spirits are fine. They are not, okay? And spending time with a guy who thinks you're charming uh, might be the perfect little pick-me-up. Most of all, I am so not ready for another man in my life. And if I was, it certainly wouldn't be Austin because I've had to listen to you go on and on and on and on about Austin and his claims on ELQ, how he could possibly side with Valentine and prevent your father from becoming CEO again. <gasps> That's it, isn't it? What's up? How did you put it? You had an ace in the hole when it came to Austin? You were talking about me, weren't you? Oh my God! Hey, hey, hey. How long have you been here? Too long. Have you seen Leo? I can't find him. You Breathe, don't worry, we're gonna find him. It's a big hospital. He could be anywhere. Okay, I just spoke with hospital security. They are all over finding Leo, Dad. Thank you, thank you. I mean, I I, I turned my back for like 10, 15 seconds to talk to the pediatrician upstairs. And then I turned back around and he was gone. Kids do that. I think Georgie can teleport. Yeah, well, with Spinelli as a dad, I'm not surprised. Look, he's gonna be fine. I hope you're right. Okay, I got a call. I love you. Okay. Hey, Mr. Quarterman, we haven't been able to locate Leo yet, but we're actively looking. All right, um, should we bring the police? I think you guys might be looking for somebody. Oh. Leo, Leo! <laughs> oh my God, Leo. I'm looking all over for you. You found him. Actually, Leo found me. He was waiting for me in the exam room where I gave him the tetanus shot because he wanted to tell me how much he liked his fidget spinner. Hey, hey, buddy. Why didn't you tell me you were going to go over there? Because I wanted to see Dr. Austin. How long was Leo with you before you decided to tell someone? 58 seconds. Oh, and, and, and my stepbrother just happens to go missing and he shows up with you? Oh, I know this one. You're implying something. Just that it's kind of convenient. I mean, you're trying to ingratiate yourself in my family. Our family. And Leo just goes missing, and as soon as we're about to call the cops, you just show up like you're the hero? Brooklyn. What? Austin treated Leo for the cut on his finger a few weeks ago. Leo liked him, so it makes sense that he would seek him out. I just wish you would have asked me first. Yeah, I imagine that you do. That's just Leo being Leo. It is just Leo being Leo. Hey, Ned, can I talk to you for a second? Sure. Can you keep an eye on Houdini here? Yeah, absolutely. Hey, so I have something here that I think you might get a little kick out of. You just kind of go like that, and then you go like that. That's pretty cool, huh? 